Let's measure the permeability of a toroid. In order to do that, we're going to use this formula here for inductance, where this L is in microhenries. So that's going to be equal to 0 0.0002 times the permeability, times the number of turns squared, times the height, times log E of the outside diameter over the inside diameter. Now, we're going to measure the inductance with the, uh, on a meter. So, and we know the dimensions, and we know the number of turns. In this case, it's, it's 15. So we can, uh, we can calculate the permeability with this formula here. Now, this was derived from uh, a formula for flux density using, using Ampere's law. So we're going to see if this formula works by testing a couple known coils here. So this, uh, this one here is a, a green-blue coil. And testing it, I, it came out to uh, 17.5 microhenries. And then we just, uh, you know, multiply all these together. And then we just take, the, uh, take that number and divide that into our 17.5. And it comes out to 70.7. So the permeability is 70.7. And in the data sheet, I think it was either between 70 and, and 75 uh, permeability. So that works out good. And this red one here, red clear, it has an inductance of uh, 2.5 microhenries. All these numbers are the same because the same size uh, coil, same amount of turns. And if we divide that out, it comes out to uh, 9.7. And in the data sheet, it says that this has a permeability of F10. So that works out good. Now, th these two, I didn't know what they were. This blue one here, I measured it up and put, the no put all the numbers in there. And it came out that it had a permeability. It has an inductance of 21.5. And so it has a permeability of 120. And this one here has an a inductance of uh, 14. And... The permeability on this one was uh, about 80, 70, 79.8, 79.5. Now this one here, this green one, it has an outside diameter of uh, 22, inside 13, and 13 inches, uh, 13 uh, millimeters for the height. But on the meter, uh, testing it, it comes out to 2,530 microhenries. So if I Take that, calculate in its formula, it comes out that the permeability on this core is 671, okay? So, you know, these same amount, of, this has 13, uh, 15 turns, this has 15 turns, this has a permit, uh, has an inductance of 2.5, this has an inductance of 2,530. So you can see that the permeability makes a big difference on your, uh, your inductance on your core here. So, now, sometimes the colors, uh, they're not really an in, in industry standard, you know. Some of them are, but uh, you can't really rely on too much on the, on the colors there. And we, we're calculating uh, relative permeability, and a lot of the uh, manufacturers will provide initial permeability. And uh, uh, for us, that's, uh, it's going to be close enough. So, we can use this uh, the permeability here to calculate how what our inductance is going to be by how many turns we want to we want to put on the core here so yeah uh, but you know this one's uh, 2530 microhenries and this one's 2.5 microhenries so big difference with the permeability and uh, that's that's it that's how you calculate permeability with this formula thank you